Hi there, Glenis Trinder here with this absolutely beautiful new moon in Leo. It's the first of the first of August 2019. So the moon, the new moon is in Leo today. And this is wonderful. This is a really, really beautiful um, sign. It's all about showing off, being flirtatious, loving yourself, um, letting yourself shine, stepping up, being seen, being that person, living your passion, celebrate, show off without, it doesn't need to be arrogant, but it, it's, it's all about, you know, acknowledging your divinity. You are designed perfectly. You are designed by source, by something bigger. So by by acknowledging that, by acknowledging that you have come from something bigger, you're actually, when you are loving yourself and almost showing off, you are doing that to show your abilities. So Leo is all of that, all of that. It's, you know, the sun rules Leo. So it's all, it's all of that sunshine, big, powerful energy. Now we have just finished coming to the end of um, a Mercury retrograde and we've had two um, lunations in July that had eclipses. So, you know, we've had that new moon and full moon eclipse and the energy from that is really positive really huge but it can be massively draining and i know for me i have been totally wading through mud the last the last three or four weeks i've really felt my energy go down and go down and anything that i have been doing that doesn't suit me i've just had to stop and pair back and pair back this is the good side of Mercury retrograde. A lot of people dread Mercury retrograde and feel that weight of it, but actually when you lean into it, when you stop and you listen to your body, you listen to yourself and recognize that this is the universe's way of showing you we need to keep changing, we need to keep letting go of something that we no longer serves, no longer serves us because we're constantly growing, evolving and changing. So in tonight's ritual, I'll give you some time. I'll tell you when you might like to pause this video and stop and journal because I haven't been able to do this on a live and I'm going to be doing this on Thursday night as well, but I'm actually recording this a couple of days beforehand. So what I want you to do is have some paper. I like to make my new moon intentions on a tiny little post-it note and I fold them up into four so that it fits underneath my stones. Now I mentioned to you um, in the post here about the stones that I like to use. Um, the first one, the first one, and I think it's significant for, for Leo that I'm going to use. Now you don't have to use those, use whatever you have, but these, these are good. I love these stones. So this is Tiger's Eye. And tiger's eye has a lot of sort of stripes. It almost looks like a tiger's eye. Um, and the energy from tiger's eye is, it, it combines earth as well as sun energy. So it's sort of high vibrational, but it's also grounding. And it, it sort of draws in that spiritual energy of the earth. So we're connecting with the higher energy. And I'll do that in the ritual in the, in the little... Um, meditation I'm going to do which I'm going to be bringing in energy from above so that's the high beautiful sunshine bright high energy from the sun and above that so that's where we get our ideas our big bright ideas our ideas of what we want to manifest so in this new moon manifesting you'll you'll already have journaled and found some of the things that you want to do what you want to manifest um, but this combines it but it also grounds you so that you're bringing it into this life we are of earth we are on the earth so we're bringing something that is a thought into our reality so that's the first one i'm going to use um, the second one then is carnelian which i've got an orange carnelian and this is grounding as well and it anchors you in the present moment in this reality because while we are bringing our thoughts we also need to stay present in the present moment knowing that where we are right now 
is the place where we are manifesting. So we need to feel calm and loving and certain in the present moment, even if we haven't got, even if it doesn't show up immediately, we have to stay grounded in that. Um, so that's the second one. The third stone that I use is probably my favorite. I use this on all of my um, manifesting. This is a citrine. Now, it is a very big citrine, um, a, a single piece, because citrine, um, citrine is quite like quartz, the way it grows. So it grows up in these six um, faceted, you know, what are they called, columns. So this would have been from a single column. Um, and I always, I mean, you can get tumbled, or I think I have small little pieces of citrine as well, and it's quite often yellowy, golden, or browny tinged. Um, this is a quite a light one, but it's because it's a bigger, bigger crystal, it gets lighter, um, but it has that yellow tinge to it. Um, I like to use the biggest one because it is a manifesting stone. Citrine is all about, um, it's, it's, it's a powerful cleanser. And, and regenerate it, but it carries the power of the sun and it is exceedingly beneficial. And it's the one that I'll always have on the middle because it's about manifesting. So I will place this on top of my intentions during this ritual. Um, the next stone that I, I like to have this always because I think this is a real high vibrational energy. It's a very powerful healing, energizing stone. It's probably one of the most amplifying energy stones on the planet. It absorbs um, stress. It, it releases it. It it it, um, it regenerates, and it's really excellent at unblocking um, anything negative and it enhances also our psychic abilities and this is really good it means it's opening up our third eye to see and to get those ideas and those bright feelings um, the next one I always have rose quartz and I'm sure most people are fairly familiar with rose quartz I have a little rose quartz heart here I have various bigger pieces of rose quartz around the place, but I love to use these on my crystal grids. And rose quartz is the stone of unconditional love. You know, it's 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 loving towards us, it's loving towards other people. And when you set your intentions from that place of unconditional love, loving yourself enough to, enough to know that you're enough to have this, to do this, you're attracting love, you're practicing love, and it's all part of this beautiful Leo energy as well, which is really, really strong with self-love. Um, so this is going to help you really bring your manifesting and your deepest desires and wishes towards you. And then the last stone I'm going to use is a green adventure. Now I'm going to use many more, but these are these are ones I like to use all the time actually, but they're quite, some of them are a bit different, but they're very relevant to um, the new moon in Leo. So this is, this is a very positive stone. It's it's a prosperous stone. It brings well-being and emotional calm, um, lots of great opportunities. It brings courage. It brings strength. It brings confidence, and that's very Leo as well. And it's wonderful at attracting wealth and abundance and anything that the heart desires. And all of this is very much Leo energy. So I will be using those later. So for now, what I'd like you to do is make sure you have all those things together. What I have, I have my candles lighting, I have my little lights lit up on my vision board, which you may just about see. Um, I've got my Tibetan singing bowl, which is just gives a beautiful little chime. I've got um, some beautiful essential oils infusing. I've got, um, this one is Elevation and it's a joyous blend and it just is uplifting. Um, it's a doTERRA oil. I collect doTERRA oils and they're pure. They're really certified pure. They're beautiful and this one really is uplifting and I really feel that's more of the energy of Leo. And the other thing I've got then is my cake stand. This is what I put my crystal grid on. I love this. It's white and it's light and it, you know, reflects the light and my stones look beautiful on it. So I place this on a little table with my crystals. So that's what I'm going to do later when we just set those intentions. So for now, what I want you to do is to just think about, you've probably been journaling over the last 
you know, few days, if you've been listening to me or following me, journaling on what you want to create. And that will, you know, the last few days, the last, you know, month has been all about releasing. But we know now, we should know now what we don't want. So out of that, we also know what we do want. We want the opposite. So for the purpose of intentions, setting intentions, I like to have one to three intentions, not too many because you're just going to dilute it. And an intention is something that you intend to do. It's something that you don't have to expect or have anybody else do. It's something that you commit to doing. And it might be something that you commit to doing, some steps that you take to take you towards some goal. It might be some self-development. Um, it might be some self-love. It might be some self-care. That's going to be high on my list of priorities this month because I am an empath and a lot of you following me I know are empaths and I will be talking about that a lot in the next couple of weeks. And empaths use their, usually empaths are in the healing, almost always in some sort of healing modality or love to help and do things for other people. But we put our energy out and we are constantly putting our energy out to the point that we forget about receiving it. Um, so that's really, really important because as a balance, we can only give to the point that we can receive. So every now and again, an empath will need to check in. Empaths absolutely need to have beautiful boundaries, boundaries for good girls, good boys. It's really important not to allow that part of you, the child inside you, to get depleted. So. Um, that's one of the things that I am going to be using for, for my intentions this month. So you set down three intentions and you can write those down. You can stop this if you don't know and think about what those one, two or three things can be. And the other thing that we're going to do is to have one wish. Now the wish is you wish for what you want. You wish for something. You might wish for something huge. If you're going to wish for something huge, break it down into steps because for this purpose, we're working with the next month's energy. So as the moon grows and gets fuller, we're going to work towards seeing our wishes coming to pass. Okay. So the full moon would be a time when we see that taking shape. And even if it doesn't take shape, you may get inspiration or ideas. I've had when I've been working with this and really doing the work that I'm going to suggest that you do this month, those wishes they happen, you know. And if they if they don't come absolutely, you will get indications that they're on their way. So think about one thing that you really really want, and if it's huge, break it down into you want some part of it or some step along the way. Um, so. I want you to just think about that. So if you need to, you can you can stop the video for now and start thinking about that and just write them down. OK. So when we have those and presumably we know what those intentions are and you've written them on your piece of paper. I'm going to do a little just a little guided meditation now to help you focus on that. So you don't need so much to focus on your intentions, but just you can focus on the feeling that those intentions will bring you. For instance, for me, if I'm looking at self care, I might be looking at, you know, the rest time, I like to lie flat on the floor for 10 minutes in the middle of the day, that's very powerful for me. So that is going to be one of my things along with doing the exercise videos that I have bought and, you know, just eating at the right times, being careful with my boundaries. So those are my intentions for this month. Um, so whatever yours are, look at those and what is the feeling that you're going to get for them. So for me, I'm going to feel loved up. I'm going to feel enough. I'm going to feel I'm worth it. So that, that's my feeling for my intentions. And then I want you to think of the feeling behind your wish. What is that big wish that you want for yourself? So, you know, what will you feel like when you have that wish? So whatever that feeling is, just I want you to remember that feeling because I'll be asking you to feel that feeling when we do this. 
So what I want you to do now is to just sit down comfortably, somewhere that you won't be disturbed, have your feet on the floor, and sit in an upright position where your back and your spine can be straight, so you are connecting up with your higher self. And I want you to just close your eyes and gently and calmly take a deep cleansing breath in, filling up your lungs and releasing all that air out slowly, calmly. Take another deep breath in, calmly feeling that air filling every part of your lungs. Hold it and release it out. You can make an ah sound. Take another deep, slow breath in. Holding it and releasing it all out. Now I just want you to focus on your breath, slowing down, staying calm, staying comfortable. And I want you to see, sense or feel your energy now rising above you. So if your eyes are closed, you might even look up with your eyes closed and see, sense or feel a bright light energy beautiful bright light beam or swirl of energy and it's coming down from the highest highest realms of space and light and it's moving down towards the crown of your head and I want you to embrace that feeling you may see it you may sense it you may hear it and it's moving down and I want you to open and soften the crown of your head just Allow your head to just feel open and absorbing in this light. And I want you to imagine that this light is moving in and it's filling you with a sense of bright light energy. This is Leo, this is the sun, this is beautiful high vibrational energy. Feel it washing in through your head, filling it you, you with a sense of light and knowingness and inspiration. Now feel that energy moving down into your third eye, opening up your third eye, allowing in that intuition, allowing yourself to really receive that knowingness, that sight, that ability to see what you want. Now feel that energy moving down into your throat. And as you breathe calmly and deeply and gently into your throat, feel your throat easing any pressure any tension any anxiety your throat is easing and it's calming now feel that beautiful energy beautiful high vibrational energy this can be god the universe any deity any energy that you want to feel or just your highest self feel it moving now into your heart and i want you really to feel that filling your heart with a sense of pure, unconditional love. Feel it washing over your heart. Maybe you might see yourself as a young child, any age that you see yourself. I want you to notice that younger you needs that burst of loving energy and notice that she's feeling it too. She's feeling that energy moving around her heart and it feels wonderful. It feels like a beautiful, warm, mother's hug feel it now moving down as you breathe gently and deeply feel it moving in to your solar plexus and this is where you can calm any anxiety as you breathe slowly and deeply into your solar plexus feel that area feeling strong feeling powerful feeling connected to your highest self to all that is now feel it moving down into your sacral area just below your navel Feel that area filled with love and light. This is your creativity. It's your ability to create life and it's abil your ability to create the life that you want. Feel that energy moving down into your root, right in the base of your seat. Feel your root opening and allowing in that bright light energy. Feel it now moving quickly down your thighs, into your knees, into your calves, into your feet. And at the soles of your feet, become aware of these beautiful roots 
growing down deep, deep into the earth, grounding you, feeling safe and centered and connected and loved. Now feel or sense that energy that's moving from that highest realm all the way down through you, down through the earth. Feel it connecting with right in the center of the planet. And notice there at the center of that planet, that feeling of love and mothering and nurturing. This is mother earth energy. It's soft, it's gentle, it's kind. Now feel those two energies mixing together and bouncing right up. Feel it coming up to the soles of your feet, up to your thighs, and legs, in through your root. Feel your root strong and connected to the planet. Feel it moving up into your sacral area, creativity, bright light. Feel it moving up into your solar plexus and breathe deeply, slowly into this part of your body. Feel it moving up into your heart expanding you, expanding your heart with love. Feel it moving up into your throat, calm, gentle, up into your third eye, sight, seeing, up into your crown. And now feel it moving even above your head, about 18 inches or 45 centimeters above your head. There's a bright light there. That's your portal. That's the portal, the connection between above and you. Now become aware of that energy moving quickly up and down, up and down and energizing. It's moving up and down through your body and it's expanding now around your heart. Really feel it expanding around your heart like a big central sunshine and your heart is growing because you're more than your body, you're beyond your body. Feel that energy moving out all around your body and your heart is growing, that energy is growing around your heart to the size of the room you're in. As you breathe in and out, feel it expanding wider than the house or the building you're in and connecting with anybody else's energy because we are all designed by love and light. This energy is pure. Feel that energy expanding bigger than the town or the city that you're in. Feel that energy moving bigger than the country that you're in. So you're connected from above and below and your energy is expanding. See that energy, feel that energy growing even bigger, bigger, bigger. You can expand this energy wider than the world. So you are connected from above to the center of the planet, but your energy is moving out around the entire planet. And you can connect with anyone or anything on this planet. But for now, I want you to bring to mind when you're at this expanded place, I want you to bring to mind those feelings that you're going to have when you set and you take action on your intentions. How will you feel when you do that, when you take action on those intentions? Really feel that feeling setting your intentions in your heart. Now I want you to bring to mind that wish, that wish, that big wish that you want to manifest this month. Any part of that wish, I want you to get in touch with the feeling of that end result. When you feel you've got this wish, how are you going to feel? What will that mean to you? Feel that feeling now, allow that feeling to expand because you are expansive. And I want you to set that wish. This wish is now written in your heart and you're feeling that feeling as if you've already got it. Feel how good it feels and as you feel this expansive, allow that energy to grow. Take a mental image of this feeling. You can lock in that feeling into your body. You can do something like squeeze your finger and thumb together, squeezing in that feeling, allowing that feeling to expand, getting bigger, getting more wonderful, getting more beautiful. As you feel that feeling expanding, that feeling of when you get your wish, you can relax your finger and thumb now knowing that you have programmed your mind 
so that every time you do this you squeeze your finger and thumb you're going to have a burst of those feelings you're going to feel expansive you're going to feel safe you're going to feel this energy you're going to feel the reminder of this emotion so knowing it feeling it sensing it believing it you have set these intentions in your heart and we'll now just slowly calmly gently easily take a deep breath in becoming aware of your extremities breathing in and out and feeling your body coming back into this earth into this room getting back into this space being grounded safe and protected and just when you're ready you can slowly calmly easily open your eyes and take a big deep stretch and smile smile knowing that you're back and that you're ready to move forward now if you're feeling in any way lightheaded or too full of energy I want you to do something like have a drink of water you can stop this and do that or you can you know eat some chocolate or eat take a bite of something that's strong tasting just allow yourself to feel your senses again you're back in your body and you're back in this place and you've made those intentions and just be gentle with yourself be gentle with yourself this is a big big energy and I want you now to look after yourself for the rest of tonight make sure you drink lots of water and you feel that feeling of you know re-energizing yourself you know getting back in touch with that feeling that you are fluid that you are part of the universe and that you can connect to anything so now I'm going to just I'm going to make my crystal grid and I'm you can watch this you can do it yourself you can do your own so I'm going to have my intentions in the center of my grid I'll show it maybe slightly more like that so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing um, so this is the center of my cake <laughs> cake stand um, I'm going to put my intentions there and I'm going to put my crystal my citrine right in the middle of that and then what I just like to do is place these stones in a pattern that feels good to me. And because I've got a tiger's eye, I'm going to put the tiger's eye at the top because that's for sight. It's for third eye as well. Um, I'm going to put the um, carnelian just below because I feel this might be just below that bright light I, I sometimes try to do them in the colors of the chakras but that's just me being neurotic you don't need to do this um, I like the green and the pink on either side because they're both they're both heart colors um, green is often the color of the heart chakra but so is pink so I'd have those there. Um, what else am I going to do? I'm going to place my um, quartz right at the top, maybe here, because this is this is sort of high energy one. This is the one for bringing in that light and that energy. Now I also have a huge bowl, a stone bowl full of other crystals, and I really just make it look nice for me i've got a piece of lapis lalula here which i love i just love the color blue in a stone i've got some green i'm going to just place around it um and use another piece of citrine i really feel this is a very powerful one so i'm going to add a lot of citrine to this and citrine is that um moon sort of or that sun kind of colored stone um, I don't have sunstone if I had sunstone I would use that I'm going to I have these two little angels that um, this one is made of opal and this is 
an amethyst so I like to put these near the top as well they're like my angels keeping it I know you can laugh at me I'm quite neurotic about this but I just love doing things like this I don't know what this stone is called I've forgotten the name of it but it's a really dark muddy what colored one and I like it at the base it's sort of grounding um, what else have I got here I just love these blue colors so I'm just going to place them around I've got some turquoise I have a couple of pieces of that that I'm going to put on either side. You can see how um, neurotic and anal I am about this. Oh, look, I've got another little rose heart. I might put that actually there because just to be absolutely... And I'll put a couple of these green ones down. I'll let you see what it's like in a moment. Um, I actually have a lot of citrine. I really like citrine. Um, some agate I've got some agate blue agate and um, oh, I can't remember what this is it's a mixture of two stones it's a composite and it's beautiful because it has root chakra stone and it also has heart chakra stone I just really make a pretty little picture with them and it doesn't matter terribly where you put them um, just make it look nice so this is basically what I do is I make it as, as beautiful. I think I'm done. I don't want to overkill. But when I make it like this, I have it in my room and I see it every day. And what I want you to do is every day that you have your grid, or, or you may only have three stones, four stones, ten stones. It doesn't matter. You might have other things that you might like to put here. It might be a stone from the garden. It might be a feather. It might be something precious to you just place it around because this is something that's going to catch your attention every day and every day what I want you to do is lift out the middle one open your little intentions read it and feel that feeling again and also remember to do on at several times squeezing your finger and thumb together so that you remember that feeling because every time you feel that feeling you are actually bringing what it is you want towards you you are bringing it towards you closer because we manifest from our feelings. So on that note, I'm going to turn this off and say good night because um, that's all we need to do. Have a wonderful, wonderful new moon and I really want you to focus every day on what it is you want and let me know how you got on. I'd love some feedback about what you thought of this.